Hey guys, Rob Boehner, producer at LiveX here, and today I've got the Canon Digital Cinema Lens, the 18-80 Cineservo T4.4 EF mount lens. This is a lens we've been waiting on for quite some time. It was back ordered. The release was delayed and delayed and delayed for months and months, uh, but it finally came in and we're really excited to get this out and put it to the test. So as you can see, it just says digital cinema lens on it um, and uh, cinema EOS system 4K. Uh, we have our identifier, our model number, the CNE 1880 ISKAS dash S. Then when we open the box, we got uh, a lens bag to keep it in, keep it safe, some product documentation, the manual. And then we have our lens hood in here. I think that's pretty much it other than the lens itself in the bag. So here is this beauty. So let's take a little closer look at this. Um, so we have, as you can see, it's a servo zoom. Uh, TW uh, telephoto Y. One thing that I don't like right off the bat is they don't include a rocker handle. Um, you have to buy that separately, but these are just buttons. TW, TW. That is basically just one speed forward, one speed back. There's no, there's no sort of punch zoom, snap zoom, uh, any possibility of anything like that, or any sort of zoom ramping capable with this kind of a setup. Uh, so yeah, it's 18 to 80 millimeters, good zoom range as far as that goes. It's a little short for, for some live work, but uh, as long as you're in an intimate setting, uh, maybe, uh, or using it as uh, more your center cam, your wide, it's good for like a, a slow push to start the show with. It also has image stabilization. If you're gonna run and gun with this lens, it's very light overall, as opposed to many uh, Cine Servo zooms that are um, Super 35 compatible. It does have an EF mount with electronic contacts. So um, things that are of advantage to EF users are like one touch autofocus. And then the image stabilization that I mentioned, all of that communicates through um, the electronic contacts on the back of the lens. Overall, the build quality itself is, is pretty solid. It's a, very similar to their L-series photo glass. The c and &E Primes have, have a, a little more of a polished uh, outer uh, con uh, casing to it, whereas this is a little more dull, a little more matte, uh, a lot closer to what you would see on the L-series uh, still lenses. On uh, the underneath side here, which is what I've been looking at, has a uh, switch for between manual and servo zoom. It, on the side here, we have a remote tap to be able to put your, um, your rocker handle uh, remote into there, as well as a, a 12 volt DC power here to power the lens. So again, from the side here, um, this is not the top of the lens. Uh, this is actually the top of the lens. I know it's a little bit confusing because on Canon still glass, you're used to seeing that down the top of the lens, but it's, it's for ENG operation. So if you're like this, you'll want that at the side of the lens. It's uh, other than that, uh, T4.4 is the fastest it will go. But the advantage is, is that you don't have to have a bigger piece of glass. Um, if you were down to like T2.95, then, then you would have to have a bigger piece of glass that would make it much heavier. Uh, anyone who's operated like the Fujinon Cabrio 19 to 90, they can get, they can get kind of heavy in a, in a run and gun environment, but this is, this is extremely lightweight. Uh, if you're if you're looking for something all around and I believe this is a standard 0.8 Fujinon pitch uh, that most uh, operators will be used to and then uh, lastly we have the the lens hood which I will attempt to put on now and yeah that's pretty much it for the Canon 18 to 80 Cineservo T4.4 EF mount lens. Once again, I'm Rob Baynard, producer at LiveX, and this has been another unboxing. Thanks for watching.